So here's what we're up to today. We had a customer drop off this old barn beam. Not sure what species it is, but it's as dry as a popcorn fart. So cutting the wood is not going to be the issue. I can remove a lot of nails, but I'm quite certain we are going to have at least 10 or 12 nail strikes. So I figured it was a great opportunity to throw on one of these bimetal blades we bought to do a little bit of a demonstration video and uh, I guess show people what they can do because everybody asks, are they any good? How many nails can you cut? And on and on and on. So we're gonna get one of these on the mill, pull out the nails that are sticking out, fire up and uh, well, whatever we hit, we hit because that's why we bought the blades. So I'll get set up here and come back at you with uh, the results. have a look at the results here so we have for sure nail strike one two three four five six seven I know there's more than that because some of these areas, unless when it hit them, it pulled them out as well. 
because there was areas that I heard it hit two or three times in a row. But um, regardless, this cut, I mean, this, it started out with this sort of a washboard and it seems to have continued pretty much the same. You know, when I got onto the other sides, like there's, it's, I'm, I'm sort of shocked. I mean, I don't, this, this is softwood. I know that much. It smells sort of cedarish, but um, no worse for wear after multiple nail strikes in a row, like one after the other. Didn't seem to phase it one bit. So I guess my verdict is um, that's a yes on the bimetal blades. I may just end up going with bimetal all around. Um, I'll see how it goes through the Norwood sharpener and tooth setter and how everything works out that way. But as far as its ability to cut through nails, um, and keep going and not hurt the cut at all. It seems pretty good. I've got uh, some red oak to do on Sunday and I know I'm gonna hit more nails with that. So I'm gonna leave this blade on, see how it starts out and how it finishes and how far I get on the red oak with nails. And you know, maybe we'll make an um, addendum to this video at some point. But for now, yeah, worth the money to me. So I've already got to make, um, I guess, an addendum to the video. I didn't put a lot of thought into this, but I probably should show what the blade looks like after hitting that many nails. So uh, I'll flip the camera around, take one of the covers off, and we'll have a look. Let's have a look-see together here. Jeez, I tell you, when I'm touching the teeth, I swear to God, they almost feel sharper than... They almost feel sharper than when I put it on. Seems like there might be a little bit of a chip there. But it's on the back side, so that doesn't make any sense. That thing is on the tip is sharp. Let's roll this guy around. I think I hit enough nails there that I would think that every single tooth had hit a nail. Don't look at my tracking. I've taken the tension off the blade, so it's going to be really out of tracking right now. If I don't take the, uh, the tension off the blade as soon as I'm done cutting, I forget. I'm telling you, I don't see anything on any of these teeth that really jumps out at me. These are... Oh, I got one with a tiny little burr on it here. If that's the worst of it, I'll tell you. Oh, there's one tooth there. Tip of the tooth is missing. That's not so bad. Well, I would say that uh, I'm pretty impressed with the bimetal. I guess it's up to you because there's a bigger expense in uh, the bimetal. But for those of you that been that for those of you that have been asking, yeah, if you're going to be into something that you suspect has nails or you know has nails, it would be really worth having some of these on hand to put on your mill. 